New details now on the hours long standoff last night in North Providence. Police tell 12 News the suspect who was taken into custody around 1.30 a.m. is now facing charges. Kayla Fish joins us now with a closer look at the case and the resources involved in bringing the whole thing to a peaceful end. Kayla. The North Providence police chief tells us the suspect identified as Peter Exarchos is being charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. The mayor says the standoff and police response to it likely cost tens of thousands of dollars. What kind of a price can you put on someone's life? North Providence Mayor Charlie Lombardi reacting to the hours long standoff at a home on Charles Street. Police were called there Wednesday afternoon for a mental health well-being check. All you hope for, Kayla, is in the end that it, uh, what we did accomplish again for this incident to be uh, injury free, no loss of life. Lombardi praised the firefighters and police who helped bring the suspect, Peter Exarchos, into custody. The incident stretching into the early morning hours Thursday with state and local police called to respond. A guesstimate, this probably was a twenty-five to $30,000 incident. When you encounter, you know, and you count the hours that your officers have spent there and, you know, the help of the Rhode Island State Police. Because that's what law enforcement does. 12 News law enforcement analyst and former colonel of the Rhode Island State Police, Stephen O'Donnell, says in cases like this, police prepare for the worst case scenario. He says when state police are called to help, they can provide different resources and sets of skills. And they're all qualified with weapons. Um, some of them have different responsibilities as I mentioned, that might be able to be better off talking to suspects and understanding the psyche of it. They're better trained in that and then talking to somebody out of a dangerous situation. O'Donnell says the number of officers at a scene can be deceiving. All state police resources, all local police resources are not used. It might look like that to somebody, but it's a portion of the resources because they have to police the whole city or the whole state. Police tell us the suspect is still in the hospital being evaluated. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.